Hey there, crypto family. Welcome back to another video where I'm bringing you that daily crypto news. Today's article goes over IMF raises concerns over the Central African Republic's adoption of Bitcoin as legal tender. So here they are. They're back at it going, oh, no, no, no. This shouldn't be good <laughs> because the IMF has already showed that they do not like countries adopting Bitcoin or legal tender. Let's see what they got to say now. The IMF has raised concerns over the Central African Republic's adoption of Bitcoin as legal tender due to the lack of a robust payment system in the country. The International Monetary Fund expressed concerns over the Central African Republic's adoption of Bitcoin as legal tender. The IMF Afri Africa head of BB Amro Celesi said for B BTC to work as legal tender, the country must already have a robust payment system in place, along with financial transparency. Celesi added that BTC should not be, the, be seen as a panacea capable of solving a country's economic problems. Locals, too, have their doubts. An owner of a local timber firm expressed negative sentiment toward the move, saying, What can Bitcoin bring to our country? The Central African Republic faces huge barriers to Bitcoin adoption, which raises the question of why officials voted in favor of the legal tender bill. Second nation to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender. The National Assembly of Central African Republic voted to pass the legal tender bill to improve the country's economic prospects. Despite being rich in natural resources, the country counts as one of the world's poorest nations. Following the passing of the Bitcoin legal tender, Obed Namcio, the chief of staff to President Faustin Archange Dudera, said it was a decisive step toward opening up new opportunities for our country. Like El Salvador, the Central African Republic will operate a dual currency system with Bitcoin used alongside its existing fiat currency, the CFA franc. Hurdles to adoption. Despite being mineral rich, especially in high value commodities, including diamonds and gold, the African nation is one of the world's least developed countries. U.S. aid pins the problem on government instability due to decades of military coups and subsequent infighting between rebel groups. Current circumstances mean 71% of the population of 5.4 million people lives below the international poverty line. This monetary threshold is determined to be just $1.98 a day and represents the baseline income required to sustain one audit to, uh, one adult. The author of the uh, of attack of the 50-foot blockchain, David Gerard, points out the Central African Republic's internet, internet coverage is low at 11% of the country. In addition, world data shows there are just 1.6 million mobile phones, which equates to less than 30% of the population having access to a phone. With poor infrastructure, unreliable reliable electricity supply and widespread conflict, Bitcoin adoption seems like an unusual step for the CAR. So, eh, interesting, right? They for there with <laughs> for them to say it's like an interesting, like what they gotta deal with. But yeah, I think like if they start, like they make a legal tender, and then they have a bunch of miners out there for those mining Bitcoin and able to actually earn some. That's quite a lot of money everywhere else. So that's only a dollar ninety they're living on. Like what the average Bitcoin is, I know drop below forty. Are we above that again? Or are we still at that? I don't got a chart on me right now, but like that's a huge that's a big deal for them so having adopting bitcoin can change a lot so it's definitely like just because like if say you live in america here some european countries canada it's like you're doing well off where like the dollar hasn't fallen or the, our current currency hasn't fallen just yet it's getting there but <laughs> it's like we see a dollar 90 we think that's cheap but for a place in africa that's a lot that's a day supply to feed an adult so yeah, I'm just ranting on now. But yeah, so IMF raised it as concerns. Big deal. We know they're losing power. They're losing grip of control. And I am loving it. So another country to adopt Bitcoin. Who's going to be next? I think that was Panama. So there should be one more coming or more. Who knows? That's adoption for you. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a beat. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.